Hey Star Wars fans and readers, welcome back to another video. As I mentioned in my last video, which was a book review, I've decided to go ahead and do this every now and then for when I get through a book or a comic book, and I've decided I'm going to do some comics as well, um, mainly trade paperback versions. I rarely get single releases. Um, it's just really out of my way to go to a comic book store every week and pick up single issues etc so i tend to wait for the trade paperbacks and then i will grab a couple at a time with an order with an online retailer so so checking out uh jedi fallen order dark temple i uh bought this from king's comics in sydney there's king's kingscomics.com.au um they do an absolutely fantastic job of bagging and packing and Sending these out in absolutely beautiful, pristine condition, um, bagged up, ready to read. Um, and then you can slip it straight in the resealable bag and uh, on the shelf it goes nice and tidy. I do have some backing cards for my book, so I will take one of them out. I've got a box of 100 of them, so I will um, add a board to this as well before I put it on the shelf. But uh, yeah, I did really want to talk about this, this book. Um, the writer is Matthew Rosenberg. And the artist for these five issues is uh, Paolo Villanelli. And for the fifth issue, it was Ruari, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, Coleman. Um, so basically, it follows, if you're familiar with Jedi Fallen Order game, um, you do touch on the game a little bit with the character Eno Cordova and, of course, Sia Junda, um, who eventually becomes Cal Kestis' mentor throughout the story of the game. So this is going back into their sort of relationship as master and apprentice. Um, and I'll give you a bit of a blurb off the back. So it says here, the Jedi Council has sent two of their trusted Jedi to the remote planet on Totho to oversee the peaceful excavation of a recently discovered temple. But Cordova and Junda soon learn that what surrounds the temple may, even, may, may be even more dangerous than the mysteries within it. Clandestine local resistance forces are ruthless, and ruthless corporate security troops wage a war for the fate of Ontotho, and the Jedi are caught in the middle. Who are the deadly tomb guardians, and what are they protecting? What secrets lie deep within the hidden temple? The race is on to find out. So, if you've played, if you've played Jedi Fallen Order, you recognise the temple guardians. Um, it is, of course, a Zepho temple. We don't really get into the Zepho anymore in this book. It's more so about uh, the relationship between Master and Apprentice here. Um, Sears a bit of a hothead, um, which we learn more about that in Jedi Fallen Order of the game as well. Um, yeah, just a really good read. It's really good to explore more characters. Um, I was really, really interested in Eno Cordova throughout the Jedi Fallen Order game um, when you're sort of tracking his um, adventures down and learning about what he's what he's been doing. Um, so I'd love to see some more of him. Um, he comes across as sort of a really humble, um, warm Jedi Master with a bit of a sense of humour. Um, whereas Seer, she's definitely a little bit more of a hothead. Um, she acts on instinct a lot of the time, and uh, yeah, you can sort of see how that develops into what she becomes in the game Jedi Fallen Order, so definitely recommend checking this one out. It has uh, just come out, um, did was delayed quite a bit because of the whole COVID thing. Um, you were able to get the single issues for quite a long time, they were back from early on in the year, um, which was pretty well timed accordingly to come out sort of you know, within a couple of months of the game release back in November, um, or was it October? October, November last year. So to finally have this out in a trade paperback is fantastic. Um, I'm looking forward to talking more comics. I do tend to keep up pretty well with them, um, if not a little bit later on than when uh, when they are released. It doesn't usually take me that long to to get the trades when they when they hit the shelves. So I'm generally pretty on the ball. Um, so if you want to keep an eye on videos and stuff, um, giving you brief rundowns of comics and the comic series going forward with Marvel, um, definitely hit the subscribe button because I'll be giving some non-spoiler sort of videos and just talking briefly about uh, these stories as they're released and as I get to read them. So thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned for some more videos. And until next one.
May the force be with you, always. We're a little rushed, so if you'll just get on board, we'll get out of here.